it's Melinda. So in today's video, I'm going to be giving you guys all of my do's and don'ts, my tips and tricks for diffusing wavy hair. Hey guys, I just wanted to pop in really fast while I'm editing this video and clarify exactly what I'm talking about in the video. So basically, I'm gonna be giving you guys tips on two different types of diffusing techniques that I like to use based on the results I'm trying to get. So the first half of this video is going to be how to get very smooth hair, super soft, minimal frizz, is, but also tips to help cut down on your drying time because obviously that's one of the huge benefits of diffusing. But then the second half of this video is going to be all of my tips on how I've been getting this like really voluminous kind of faux curly look. And a lot of those tips actually go like directly against the tips in the first half of the video. So um, I didn't want it to seem like I'm contradicting myself. It's just more so that I do things differently based on the final result that I'm going for. So if you want a result more like this, then the tips in the first half the video are going to be for you but if you're looking for a result more like this then the tips in the second half of the video are what you're looking for so if you have been following me you know that i am really into this new technique with my hair where i refresh with foams and i diffuse to get this like crazy big voluminous look to my hair my hair does not normally look like this if you're new to my channel it looks a little bit thinner a little bit less full and just not this big and voluminous and fun um, yeah, this is just like a fun little alternative style that I've been really into and I'm gonna tell you guys exactly how to do it Most of that is honestly in my diffusing technique. Okay, so to start I use this X Tava dryer and diffuser attachment I bought this one because someone said that it has a really big bowl I don't know what to call this. Just just go with me. Okay, so they said that this one has a really big bowl So it's good for long hair and short hair. I think they make diffuser attachments that are specifically for short hair but if you get a bigger one like this one specifically then you can use it with short hair and long hair that's why I bought this one because at the time I had short hair but I knew it was gonna grow that's what hair does and I didn't want to have two diffuser attachments so I've been using this since my hair was shoulder length until now and it's worked great at every length in between so I really really like this I got them both off Amazon it works great sometimes this diffuser head kind of falls off and it hits my foot and it pisses me off but that's okay it still works it kind of varies from time to time but for the most part what I tend to stick to is the medium settings on the heat and on the blow strength so I don't do it super cold and I don't go super hot just because I want to reduce as much heat damage as possible but also not be sitting here for five hours diffusing my hair on a cold temperature you know if you don't want to use heat on your hair by all means use the cold I use the medium so again medium on both both settings oh, for it. and then I use a technique called pixie diffusing so that is where you take a section of your hair and you put it in the diffuser with the diffuser off you lift it all the way up to your scalp and then you turn the diffuser on so that just really helps to reduce frizz and minimize a lot of flyaways and just the disruption of your curls so that technique has worked so so well for me and I love it also another way to reduce frizz is not to use high heat on your your diffuser again that's why I use the medium heat someone actually commented that on my last diffusing video and I didn't even think about high heat causing frizz but I had so much frizz in that video and I thought I hated diffusing but really it was just my heat setting so it's so simple just don't use high heat and that might be your problem and it might help you reduce some frizz my next tip is to section your hair I cannot get all of my hair up into here or I'm gonna end up with like some wonky pieces and it's just not gonna work out well so the more hair you have, the more sections you need to do. Just like if you're like heat styling your hair or applying products, whatever you're doing, you need to section your hair. So I section my hair a little at a time and I pile it all into the diffuser and that just helps to get a more even curl pattern all over my hair. So I'm not like squishing too much hair into this bowl. Again, it is for long hair, but you still don't wanna be taking too big of sections at a time. Okay, my next tip is probably my most important tip and what helped me the absolute absolute most with not getting those like really zigzag bent out of shape curls and that is to only hold a section of hair for 30 seconds and then taking it out if you leave your hair in the diffuser for like a minute or two minutes 
it is not going to turn out right. It's going to totally disrupt your curl pattern, especially if you have waves. If you have like kinkier, curlier hair than I do, then I think you can get away with leaving your hair in a diffuser for a little bit longer because your hair just automatically sits in those little spirals. But wavy hair girls, our hair does not do that. It will get bent out of shape so quickly. So you really just want to be holding every section for only 30 seconds before you're taking it down. I don't know if I mentioned this with the pixie diffusing, but when you put it up to your head, you turn the diffuser on and then when you're done, you turn the diffuser off and then take it back down. So you don't want the diffuser on when you're doing this up and down motion that just causes a ton of frizz. So back to the whole timing thing. If you're noticing that even 30 seconds is too long and when you're taking the diffuser down, you're still ending up with like these really wonky curls, just shorten the time and kind of play around with it and see what works for you. I will say the drier my hair gets, the shorter I will hold the diffuser in one spot. When I put that first section up, I will hold that for like sometimes even like 45 seconds, but normally around 30 seconds. And then as my hair gets drier and drier, I'm really only holding it for maybe like 10 seconds at a time. Just like really, really make sure I'm not getting those jaggedy curls. My next tip is if you did accidentally hold your diffuser on one section of your hair for too long and you get some curls that are all over the place and you don't like the way they're looking, just take a break from diffusing for a second and let the hair sit and kind of relax. It might fall back out of that pattern if it's still a little bit damp. Sometimes my hair will do that. And if it's not falling out on its own, I will kind of just like scrunch my hair a little bit to get that curl shaped back the way I want it to look. If that's still not working and it's not like working itself out on its own and scrunching isn't helping, what I will do is I will add a little bit more water. So I have a spray bottle that I use for refreshing. I will just give it like two sprays, not a lot of water at all, or you're going to be diffusing for 80 years, but I'll just add a little bit more water and then start to scrunch it and reshape that curl if it's set a little bit too much in that like terrible shape. So that's a really good tip if you like get some crazy curls. And then after you've re-wet it, you will obviously just go in and continue diffusing like normal. Again, only 30 seconds at a time so you don't start the process all over again of the wonky curl mess. So my next tip is if you want like smoother, even curls and you're not that worried about volume, you just want your hair to be like soft and smooth and tame and manageable and you're just trying to get it dry quicker, I would recommend pixie diffusing until about 60% dry and then air drying the rest of the way. Or if you're like really in a pinch and you need your hair completely dry, pixie diffuse until dry. The pixie diffusing technique is just such a good one for not getting like unmanageable crazy hair and that just like really cuts down on frizz. If you hover diffuse, I would recommend pointing your diffuser and your blow dryer downwards as you're drying your hair. So this just helps to make sure that any flyaways you get are still going to be pointing in the same direction as the rest of your hair. So frizz will be less obvious and it's just less disruptive of your curl clumps. If you are hover diffusing and pointing your diffuser up, any of those loose flyaways are going to pull out of the curl clump and detach from the rest of your hair and make frizz a lot more obvious and create frizz that's totally unnecessary. So if you do like hover diffusing, try that tip. Just point your diffuser downwards. And sometimes I will combine pixie diffusing with hover diffusing. I like to normally pixie diffuse first and then hover diffuse to kind of like get my roots really well or just to finish it off once I've gotten like the desired look on my ends. If I like don't want to touch it anymore with pixie diffusing because I'm scared I'm going to mess it up and get those wonky curls, I will literally just just hover diffuse like the lengths of my hair, my roots, everything. And I always try to make sure I'm like pointing the blow dryer downward. So my last tip, I don't know if this is like really a tip. It's just something that I do. It's when my ends are like taking a little bit longer to dry. And again, I don't really want to be scrunching them anymore into the actual diffuser, but also I kind of feel like hover diffusing is taking too long. I will actually like put the diffuser on one side of my hair and then hold my hand against the other side to just really get the diffuser as close to my hair as possible, get as much air into my hair as possible, speed up the drying process. And also I like having my hand there to kind of, again, prevent those flyaways and those stray pieces of hair from just like coming out of my curl clumps and blowing all over the place. I just feel like holding my hand behind my hair kind of prevents that from happening. Or you can even like use your body as your hand and you can take your diffuser and just hold it straight on. And the hair is like blowing up against your chest. So it's not going to be like like flying all over the place because it has nowhere to go. So again, that's just like a tiny little toss in tip that I do and I feel like it
it makes a little bit of a difference. So on the other hand though, if you want like crazy volume, you don't have to pixie diffuse until dry. What I actually like doing is just pixie diffusing for about the first like 20 to 30%. And then after that, I will just take random pieces with my diffuser on and I'm just like going up and down, messing my hair up as much as possible, honestly. That's what I did for this look. I was just like going ham and like trying to get as much volume as possible. And for that, I do leave my dryer on the the entire time. I pixie diffuse, like I said, until about 30% dry, and then I leave my diffuser on the entire rest of the time as I'm drying to create as much like frizz and volume as possible. But I still start out with pixie diffusing to get that initial like shape to my curl or wave. So again, though, that really just comes down to the specific look you're going for. Some days I'm not in the mood for this much volume. I don't want this much frizz in my hair. I just want my hair to be soft. And so I will just pixie diffuse until it's about 60% dry and then air dry the, wet, the rest of the way. And that gives me like really soft, nice results and still cuts out on my drying time. But again, with this, I like start breaking up my sections and just pulling random pieces and just shoving the diffuser in there, just really like messing my hair up because I'm just trying to get the most volume possible. I will also like flip my hair over and really make sure the roots are getting dry and I will like sometimes even flip my head upside down and I'm just like doing the most to get volume. You know what I'm saying? So another tip, if you want to get the results that I had in this video and you just want like really bouncy, voluminous hair, what I did for that is once my hair was about 70 to 80% dry, I actually started holding the diffuser on my hair a little bit longer because that was just really curling up these ends and giving me like a little bit of shrinkage and just that super bouncy scrunched up look that made it look like my hair was curlier than it was so that's what I did today too I took the diffuser and I like put all of my hair in it pretty much and I let it sit for probably like 45 seconds to a minute and then I took it down and again just adds to the volume so if that's the look you're going for try that tip okay you guys I think that's all my tips I I hope these made sense. I know it was like a little bit all over the place because I was giving you tips for two types of styles and you really do like the complete opposite thing based on what you want, whether that's volume or softer waves. But I feel like all these tips have really, really helped me a ton. I used to hate diffusing because I just couldn't figure it out. I couldn't make it work for my wavy hair. And now I feel like I've really, really locked in a good routine that works for me consistently. And I figured out how to like work out the kinks along the way. So yeah, I hope these tips can help you. If you have any more questions, please leave them down in the comments. I will do my best to answer them, or I'm sure someone else can answer it for you too if I don't get to it fast enough. But yeah, I hope this was helpful for a lot of you guys. I know y'all struggle with diffusing your wavy hair too. So yeah, give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to my channel if you want to. Follow my wavy hair Instagram page where I give you lots of tips and tricks and product recommendations in between my YouTube videos. So yeah, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.